Okay. So this skill is 2.27, administering ophthalmic medications. And you guys are saying, what are ophthalmic medications? All right, so that's got to do with the eye, okay? So anything to do with the eye. All right, you're going to do all of your normals, you know, check the mar, get the med, all that, okay? Um, and so I'm going to pick up where we're in the patient's room, okay? So we're going to administer ophthalmic medications. You're going to apply gloves. Oh, yeah. So you really need to have that when you're, when you're working uh, with the patient. So let me go and um, pause this for just a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I now have all of my supplies that I need. And the supplies that I need are the medication, right, the gloves and gauze. Okay, we're going to need gauze um, in order to um, give to the client um, in case, you know, um, there's some medicine, loose medicine that comes seeping out the eyes, okay? So I'm going to apply gloves. If I needed to, I would clean the eyelid and the eyelashes using a sterile cotton ball moistened with sterile irrigating solution. So what are sterile irrigating solution? Some, some sterile saline. You could open up a, 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 a saline flush and put it on a cotton ball or on a sterile gauze and uh, clean the eyelid, okay? So you would clean here, okay, right, okay, um, and you're going to wipe from the inner canthus to the outer canthus. So this is the inner canthus, the inner aspect of the eye, to the outer canthus, or the outer aspect of the eye. So you're going to wipe here, okay. So it normal saline is on my gauze, and I wipe and I clean in case I needed to clean off any crusties or. Um, you know, stuff that may hinder me from putting the medication in, okay? And then I'm going to check the ophthalmic preparation for name, strength, and number of drops if liquid was used, okay? So here's my, here's my drop, and I've checked everything, right? All right? Um, you're going to ask the client to look up to the ceiling, okay? You're going to ask them to turn their head and look right up to the ceiling, okay? You're going to have to make sure you open their eye. It's kind of hard on the mannequin, but you'll have their eye open, okay? All right? You would hand the patient, if they're able to, a piece of gauze to help them if they, uh, if, you know, medication comes seeping out, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to hold the medication with your dominant hand, and you're going to place your hand on the client's forehead, okay? So you're going to make sure that you open, okay? And you're going to place your hand. And when you place your hand, it looks just like this, okay? I'm going to put the cover on this because I don't want this dripping on the patient, on the mannequin, okay? All right. So you're holding the eye open, and you're resting your hand on the patient. It makes it steadier because you may you may be shaky. We don't want to be shaky when we're trying to put eye drops in somebody's eye, right? So we want to rest our hand. It gives us more stability. So you're going to hold their eye open if they're not able to and you're going to instill the drops. Okay? So where do you... You're going to approach the eye from the side and instill correct number of drops onto the outer third of the lower conjunctival sac. Okay, so out here. Okay, you got it? Out here. Got it? And then you're going to, you're going to, after you've instilled the correct amount of drops, whatever the doctor has ordered, okay, you're going to press firmly on the nasolacrimal duct for at least 30 seconds. So the nasolacrimal. Nasal, nose, lacrimal is where your tear, right? You just, I'm not telling you to go like this on them, okay? It's just a slight little pressure. And what that does is it keeps the medicine from going into the nasal passages because it's all connected, right? We want to keep it up in the eye as much as we can. So it's a slight little pressure here for about 30 seconds, okay? Okay, while you're doing that, you're explaining to them what you're doing because, you know, hey... You're pushing on their face, and they're going, what are you doing, right? Okay. Then you're going to clean and dry the eyelids as needed. 
You're going to wipe the eyelids gently from the inner to the outer canthus to collect excess medication. So you're just going to, it's, it's not a this, okay? It's a slight little dabbing, okay? So it's a slight dabbing from in to out, okay? Now, um, if they uh, needed to have an iPad on, um, you would instill an iPad. And um, they're, they're just an occlusive dressing that would be put on the eye um, to keep it from, from them using it, okay? Some people have to really rest their eyes. So um, if an iPad needed to be put on, you'd put the iPad on, okay? And it's not gonna stay because it's not adhesed, okay? But it, you would put it on and it would stay, all right? Um, then you would, um, you notice that I had removed my gloves before I did that, right? Um, and I had performed hand hygiene. Um, I would assess the client's response and um, I would document, document on their MAR, okay? And that is ad administering ophthalmic medication skill 227.